you think a ship like this could be worth? I'll bet you. I do know one thing. Take it. Well, Murph, I think you should get up here. It's an ocean liner. The ship's locked. What do you make of that? A car ship. Hello, welcome to the Top 10 Horror Movies YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about the Top 10 Horror Movies that never got better than their opening moments. It's vital for any movie to start with a captivating opening scene that draws the viewer in, especially in the horror genre. This usually involves a shocking death scene, setting the tone for the rest of the film. However, some filmmakers focus too much on creating a memorable opening, leaving the rest of the movie unable to match its impact. While these horror films are generally good, the majority of effort goes into crafting an unforgettable opener, resulting in a lack of excitement, intensity, and terror afterward. It's disappointing when the finale fails to live up to the gripping beginning, as it's what viewers will ultimately remember. Final Destination 2, 2000. The opening sequence of Final Destination 2 is incredibly intense, featuring the most visceral premonition scene in the entire franchise. It forever changed the way an entire generation perceives logging trucks. Similar to its predecessor, the sequel starts with a catastrophic event that seemingly kills most of the main characters, only to reveal that it was actually a premonition experienced by the protagonist Kimberly. While on a road trip with her friends, Kimberly witnesses a horrifying accident involving a logging truck. The scene unfolds with cars and bikes being thrown around like toys, causing massive explosions and fatalities. Eventually, Kimberly herself is killed in her vision when she gets hit by an oncoming truck while trapped in her car. Just then, we discover that it was Kimberly's vision, and true to the series' formula, the disaster occurs in reality, with Kimberly and a few others narrowly escaping it. While Final Destination 2 offers several entertaining kills, its opening scene aims for a gut-wrenching effect, presenting a gruesome massacre that continues to unsettle audiences due to the relatable fear of driving behind a large cargo vehicle. <laughs> Urban Legend 1998 the Urban Legend movie begins with a memorable scene where the killer in the back seat legend is dramatized. Michelle Mancini stops at a gas station where a suspicious attendant, played by Brad Dourif, raises our suspicions. Eventually, the attendant convinces Michelle to leave her car and seemingly tries to attack her. Michelle defends herself with pepper spray and drives away. However, it was revealed that the attendant was actually warning her about someone in the back seat. Suddenly, an axe-wielding maniac appears in the back seat accompanied by Bonnie Tyler's total eclipse of the heart, and kills Michelle with the swift swing of the axe. This intense and unexpected sequence sets the tone for the movie, although the rest of it doesn't deliver as much fun with other urban legends' gruesome death scenes. The movie goes downhill from here. Blade1998 Blade kicks off with an incredible opening sequence that sets the tone for the entire movie. Taking place at a lively rave, an unsuspecting partygoer finds himself in the midst of a vampire gathering. As blood showers down from the ceiling, revealing the true nature of the event, chaos ensues. However, the arrival of Blade, a vampire hunter, disrupts the party and prompts most attendees to flee. Those who remain are swiftly dealt with by Blade utilizing his arsenal of weapons, martial arts skills, and explosive devices. This expertly crafted scene introduces the audience to the vampire underworld and establishes Blade as a formidable and silent force. While Blade has its flaws, this iconic opening sequence will be hard to surpass, even for the upcoming Blade film in the MCU. Jeepers Creepers 2001 
Jeepers Creepers is often regarded as a mediocre horror film, but it undeniably boasts an outstanding opening sequence. The first 12 minutes can be considered a brilliantly executed short film on its own. Trish and her brother Derry are driving home for spring break when they notice a suspicious vehicle tailgating them. With a creepy license plate reading Beatengu, shortly after they stumble upon the same car parked near an abandoned church, witnessing the driver disposing of what appear to be corpses down a pipe. The driver then reappears, runs them off the road, and vanishes again. This gripping opening captures the viewer's attention, although the logical course of action would be to report the incident to the police and continue on the road. However, the story takes a turn for the worse as the siblings decide to investigate the church, leading to a disastrous outcome, particularly for Derry. The movie further deteriorates in its second half, becoming increasingly ludicrous when the creeper grows wings. This transformation completely contrasts the initial suspenseful and restrained tone set by the phenomenal opening. Sinister 2012 Scott Derrickson's Sinister falls short of greatness due to its generic genre elements, but it captivates with a chilling opening scene. The film begins with disturbing Super 8 footage showing four people with bags over their heads, hanging from a tree branch with nooses around their necks. Suddenly, an unseen force cuts a nearby branch, causing the victims to be hanged. The scene continues for about 30 seconds, displaying the life draining out of the quartet before the footage pauses and the movie's title card appears. This intense and horrifying introduction sets the stage for the rest of the supernatural horror film, which, while not outstanding, maintains a creepy atmosphere through its use of authentic Super 8 visuals, haunting music, and the mystery surrounding the perpetrators of these gruesome acts. What's happened? Kings again now. Ghost Ship 2002 Does anyone remember anything about the supernatural horror film Ghost Ship from 2002, except for its incredibly gory and impressive opening scene? The movie begins in 1962 on the doomed Italian Ocean liner Antonia Graza, where passengers are dancing when suddenly a lever is pulled, causing razor wire to surround the deck. The wire tears across the dance floor, resulting in the gruesome deaths of numerous passengers, including the captain. However, a young girl named Emily Browning, who is too short to be harmed, witnesses the horrifying event. Even after more than 20 years, this scene remains impressive, although the rest of Ghost Ship fails to deliver anything equally memorable. That's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new about these amazing horror movies. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more top 10 horror movie lists. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Out of here.